Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and in this video I want to cover the follow-up to the prior video on mining changes with the new spacescaping and the refinery decks. And now in that previous video, you probably saw that I wasn't being real picky in my mining, but what I was really trying to do was get raw materials, because while you can refine proper ore, the raw stuff is where you're really going to be targeting to get the better benefit from a profit increase perspective when you're taking crap material and making it nice. Now, once you fill up, if you have raw material, you need to find a refinery deck. Now, think of this as like an attachment to a station, similar to the cargo decks that are in orbital stations like the Bajini, um, Tressler, or Everest. Um, but these are much smaller and less bulky, and they're going to be at some of the Lagrange stations, mostly being the L1s, like Crew L1, Arc L1, or Hurl L1. But I have heard that some of these are going to be at the L2 locations as well. Now, as you approach in quantum, you're going to start to notice that you're seeing these clouds in space that weren't there before. And once you actually pop out of quantum, um, you're going to see a really nice view, being basically a station in a cloud. Now, the reasoning for this is that the Lagrange points are basically gravity wells between the planets. So it's a natural place for gases and dust to collect. And the visibility seems to range from somewhat cloudy to a very massive dust storm. But luckily, the stations are encircled by lights, so you can find out where you're going fairly easily, or you can re-engage your quantum drive to get a marker. Now, upon finding the location, you can really land wherever you want. It doesn't matter. But go ahead and take a look at the refinery deck to see the exterior view of it, because you have things like tanks and processing centers and lots of piping, and it's just kind of an exciting look, although less you know, imposing than the cargo deck is. Now, once you're ready to get started, um, contact the station to request your landing, and it doesn't really matter where you touch down, because you're going to have to go to the lobby first, and then you take the elevators inside the station to the destination labeled as refinery. Now, once you get there, which is a long elevator ride, so you may think your game bugged out, but trust me, you're probably fine. Um, you'll come out on the destination uh, and you will end up hearing things like the chatter of refinery workers. You'll end up seeing a screen that tells you about the location. You'll see smelters and a bunch of stuff on fire and molten material. It's just a really cool visual. Um, and much like the cargo deck where you kind of get that ambiance, uh, it's just really engaging to be there. Now, once you head through what seems to be the dangerous area, and you can go up the ladders and see everything you want, um, you're going to notice a store off to the side, but we'll talk about that in a bit. That being said, since refining takes time, I would recommend getting started refining your materials and then go out and explore. So once you go up the stairs and you enter the office, the, to your immediate left, you're going to see a couple terminals where you can just sell the raw ore outright. Um, but you will notice that the pricing is very low, so it's not really worth doing. However, the other refinery kiosks that are basically in front of you when you walk in that office door are where you can set up a job. Now the nice thing is, is that you can start a job and you can log out or you can leave and go do something else in the verse and then come back or really whatever. But you can also set a ship for your goods to be loaded to. So remember when you choose and then don't pull that somewhere else. So to get started, you basically you interact with the kiosk and then you select the location your ore was at. For me, that was my prospector. Now, after you start your work order, you have the option of what you want to refine. And I'll say that I haven't necessarily mastered or played enough with this to tell you what the value of doing what and best practices is. But as I learn, I'm going to make sure to bring that back to you guys and share here. But you can select the ore that you want to process. But it also won't let you deselect that ore right now, which I assume is a bug. So if you make a mistake in what you want in your job, just back away from the terminal and start over. You'll also notice that there's a drop down for the method of refining. And while the names may be foreign, I personally don't understand them, you have a familiar approach here to the hacking cart. The more you pay, the faster it goes, and maybe we see reliability being a case, but I don't think that's necessarily going to apply here. Some of those modes are going to refine very fast, but it's going to eat into your profit margin. Others, it's going to be very cheap, and like the one that I accidentally fat fingered takes almost five hours. Not ideal for the purpose of making a video, but I'm showing you the real thing. That's not that big of a deal though, but it does highlight the options that you have available because you could set up the cheapest job and end your night right there. 
because the time to complete is hopefully less than the six to eight hours of sleep that you're going to be getting because we all want to get our sleep. Um, you could also potentially, you know, start the job, go do other stuff in return. Let's say you have like an hour, you know, an hour, 45 minutes, something like that on your refining. You could go do some claim jumpers. You could go do some more mining. You could do really whatever. So really just evaluate your situation. You know, pick the one that has the price that you can stomach and the time that it takes um, that makes sense for what you're trying to accomplish. So I'll end up covering the hauling and selling of these refined goods soon. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, I'm mostly going to be doing just showing the rest of the cargo deck. But before we do that, um, as I mentioned before, you can actually see how you click on that drop down to load which ship you want that information or that uh, cargo to be loaded into. You want to make sure that it's either a ship that you brought there or it's a ship that's not been claimed at a different destination. Otherwise, it's gonna be grayed out and you can't load anything onto it, which makes sense because you're not gonna just randomly have your pixels appear halfway across the galaxy. So if things end up working the way that we hope they will, once you pull that ship from the ASOP terminal, it'll be already loaded and ready for you to go and sell at a major city. Stay tuned for the next video to find out if that works the way we expect it to because Again, I click the option that takes five hours. I can't really share Evocati information. Um, so we'll just see if that actually works out the way it should. Now, other things of interest at the refineries are, you know, some of it's visual, right? You know, but aside from that, you've got the store that's below the refining control area. And that's where you can find things such as temperature suits like the Novikov and the Pembroke, um, as well as mining heads for your vehicle or for your ships, as well as hand mining tools, which also includes the new tractor attachment, which we'll cover soon. You have things like water and some snacks, as well as a lot of other cool stuff. I personally love that addition. And most importantly, is you can see that you can come in here and actually do ship rentals. You can rent a prospector or a rock. With the way that the rock earns credits right now, it's a really good money-making expedition. You can rent a rock for 5,000 credits for one day. Now, I don't necessarily know the return on investment right now in 3.12 to see how profitable actually using the rock is, um, but for 5,000 credits for 24 hours, it's a really good value regardless of how much you're gonna bring back because you're gonna make more than that and it's just a fun experience to do that. Um, I'm also excited about this because this adds the additional gameplay for us to enjoy and more relevant destinations in the verse. So overall, that's your quick and dirty. And again, once I have more experience with this and a full gameplay loop, I'll cover it in more detail. However, that should at least get you started. Now, if you have questions on this, please let me know. Otherwise, much more content coming with you soon, so stay tuned for that. As a reminder, we do have uh, two different talent giveaways coming by the end of the month, so make sure that you're subscribed to the channel because you have to be a subscriber to win. Uh, and a reminder that those of you that uh, or have interest in supporting the channel on Patreon, you also do get additional entries into giveaways as well as my Patreons uh, earning my referrals through my randomizer and access to my Discord channel. So if you had interest in backing the channel, see the description or the end card to join up. With that out of the way, stay tuned for a whole lot more comment, comment, content coming soon. Have yourselves a wonderful day and take care.